I always get a lot of questions asked about my dark energy removal process. So I want to make this video and kind of explain to you a bit about my process and how I do it. Now, rule number one, this is really important to remember. You never fight fire with fire. How do you put out fire? Water. How do you defeat the dark? You don't use darkness to fight darkness. You use love. Love is the most powerful force in the cosmos verse, not just on this planet, but in the cosmos verse. How do you defeat darkness and evil? It's through love. So when you see movies like The Exorcist and all those horror movies, when you see priests battling these demons and these dark energies, they're being kind of nasty towards them. They're being quite forceful. Yes, you have to be forceful and assert your power, but you have to be kind and loving. I look at dark energies as little kids craving attention, affection, and love. Yes, they could be quite annoying. Don't get me wrong. Trust me, they get me quite annoyed and rallied up a lot. But at the end of the day, I look at them as little kids. And what do you give a child? You give children your love. That is what these dark energies crave and need. It's love. Now, don't get me wrong. Many of these priests, they truly do mean well. They think they're doing good. And they are to a certain extent. They are removing an energy, a dark energy from a person and helping save that person's life, quite literally. But what they don't realize is that energy is free to roam around and then go infect another person or another place. They truly mean well, but they're doing it incorrectly. Not all of them, but most of them are. What I do, which is completely different from what Catholic priests are doing, I'm able to access again these higher realms. You can call it we're gonna go we're gonna go real deep right now it is considered internal creation plasmas i have access to plasma energy it's one of the highest frequencies energies one can have access to i'm very blessed in that regard i came in with this gift in this lifetime to do this work so i'm able to access these higher realms what I do is I take a dark energy, I'm able to remove it from a person, a place, or thing. Usually, it likes to scatter itself into a million pieces to give me a harder cleanup job, but I get the job done. I compile all the pieces and I send those pieces of that dark energy up to the higher realms. Now, once it's up in the higher realms, it quite literally goes to a rehab facility for dark energies. Many souls, many consciousness, many different energies, they went so dark. They went so, 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 so dark and so evil that they quite literally need a rehab facility. So that's where they go when I remove them from this dimensional field. I get them out of here. They can't get back down here. Once they're out, that is it. They are up there for good, but they are being showered with love and affection. So it's a beautiful place for them to be, and they quite literally are being rehabbed. That is the best analogy I can give. Now, another thing I see a lot of people doing wrong is they will banish that dark energy back to quote unquote hell, back to the realms where they dwell. You can consider it a hellish realm. It does in fact exist. That's the last thing you want to do is send it back there so we can come back and bother you some more. Absolutely not. I see a lot of spiritual workers. I've heard of a lot of priests doing that, banishing the energy back to where it came from. Absolutely not. Clearly it got here from that place. Why would you send it back? You need to remove it permanently. Now I know not every person has the capabilities to do this, but this is how it's done correctly. And this is how we're going to eliminate so much darkness from the planet. Quite literally, these dark energies, it's like a plague. It truly is like an infection. It got so many souls and it's time to clean it up for good. Now, the main reason we haven't been able to do this any sooner is because we have not had access to internal creation frequencies, to plasma frequencies, to higher frequencies, even in this time matrix. We haven't had access to these frequencies for a very long, 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 long time. That's why, unfortunately, 
the darkness has persisted for as long as it has. But again, age of Aquarius, it's cleanup time. It's the rescue mission. We have been allowed access to these frequencies again. Many of us have, myself included. Many more will continue to get access as well. And our goal is to get as many people access to these frequencies as possible to help with this cleanup mission. So now is the time to fully remove the darkness from this planet, from this dimension for good. I'm talking about extreme darkness. There will always be somewhat of a polarity, but it will not be like it is any longer. And let me tell you, when I do remove a dark energy from a person, a place, an object, immediate. You see an immediate difference in that person, in that place, in that thing. It's night and day. But then of course, if I'm removing it from a person, then they have to go through their healing process. It takes a long time to heal from a possession like that, but absolutely it is possible to fully heal from a possession, an infection of a dark energy. It just takes time. But again, night and day, you will see that person back to normal almost immediately once that energy is gone for good. The sessions can be intense. Let me tell you, the movies are pretty true, how they accurately portray how a dark energy can manipulate things to frighten or scare you. I've heard scratches on walls, like spine tingling scratches on walls. They move things around, they play with lights, they close doors, I've seen it all. That is more real than people realize. It's essentially that dark energy trying to spook, frighten me from doing my job and it doesn't work. Possessions, dark energy infections, they are way more real than the average person realizes. I've been lucky enough to capture a lot of crazy stuff on camera too. One day I will be able to show it publicly, uh, but let me tell you, I've seen, I've seen it all. I've seen some crazy stuff and I know there's crazier things I will be experiencing as I continue to do this work. That is a brief synopsis of how I remove dark energies from people, places, things, and this planet for good. There is more detail that goes into it that takes time to explain. In the future one day, I will do a deep, 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 deep dive exactly how I do this work into more detail. But for now, that is a little synopsis for you. And that is how you remove a dark energy from the planet for good.